I'm building a LEGO Minecraft gaming PC and a lot of you in the community helped. Today I'm going to call out those who have suggested or assisted with parts of this, then go over some of my personal updates, and to finish I'll reveal the empty spaces where you can help decide what to build. So let's jump straight into it, starting with the power button. Previously, Aerobrake helped me choose this texture block which was pretty cool, but then Chris2jz popped up on my Instagram suggesting I build a TNT block, and this dude nailed it with an awesome idea. Thanks bud. But then I was just minding my own business when the overseer asked if I could make it light up when I turn it on. This request was a little challenging, but I pulled it off. Another great idea from the community. Unlimited Ishan said now I should make it explode, but I don't think that's going to happen. Sorry bud. Next up is the mountain. I reached out to Legotendo64 for a second opinion, and he suggested I make it more blocky. I'm glad I asked because this turned out great. While I'm talking about him, I watched one of his recent videos where he built some mock Minecraft sets LEGO should have made. The Pillager castle caught my attention as Nickel suggested a castle or fort, so I built a scaled down version of it. I'm not done with it yet as I'm running real low on bricks, but I have more on the way. Next up, Rob Builder 51 said to make a Taiga village, so I thought I would have enough room on the other side of the river, but after building on it, I quickly ran out of space. Now, I have some other plans for this corner, but we'll see how much room I have if I can expand it more later. Gabriel Leto said to add redstone around the PC, but honestly, I don't know how to make it seem like the redstone is powering it. I guess I could just add more redstone. User WT8, numbers, letters, numbers, and Nickel both asked if I could do a tutorial world. And this is an awesome idea, as I already have the Minecraft letters in the backdrop. I do not have room on this current setup, but I'm excited to announce this will be the next series once I'm done here. Stay tuned for that. Here's some progress I made since the last video. I added a lot of elevated terrain, more trees, a small village, finished the mine shaft and both mine caves, and next I will build a mountain and elevated terrain in this corner, and then add more detail around the mine shaft. And the rest remains a mystery, which brings me to your suggestions. Comment them here and in future shorts. This small area next to the river, the empty space between the Pillager Castle and TNT block are the main areas I'm going to be focusing on next. So let me know what you want to see, and I look forward to trying to build whatever it is you ask for. I will bring you all updates along the way with my shorts, then once done, another long form video on this build. If I missed your previous comments as a shout out in this video, please let me know and I'll be sure to add you in the next one. Oh, and shout out to my six year old for putting a pig on top of a pig, a cake with yellow eyes, and a banana on this furnace. Thanks little man for the help. By now, some of you may wonder, does the computer overheat? And I'm here to tell you after over a thousand hours of combined gaming and video editing, it runs very efficient. In fact, better than in a PC case as it's basically an open air concept and the CPU is water cooled. Oh, and no Lego bricks were harmed in making this video. If you have any questions about the build, I'd love to hear them in the comments. That will wrap it up for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.